Hey everybody, I'm Scott. We're going to learn how to start with Bitsbox. Bitsbox is a website that you can use to code apps. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because either you've heard about us and want to see what it's about, or you've got one of these, a Bitsbox kit that came in the mail. So let's assume, for sake of this video, that you've got one of these books. What you want to do is go to bitsbox.com. You can use any web browser you like. We like Google Chrome and click Get Started. Once you click Get Started, we're going to bring up a miniature iPad on your screen, and this is where we're going to build the apps from the book. So you click Let's Go. The system welcomes you in with your new tablet, hooray. And it's going to guide you through a series of prompts to build some apps. The first one is called Hello World. So just click the button that says Hello World. It launches the app. And as you can see on the purple box that pops at the bottom of the screen, we're going to start by telling you exactly what to code. So on line one, it says fill red. So you just come in here and type your first line of computer code. Click the next button. You can see what that command has done. It's changed the screen to red. Next, we're going to put text, hello world. Now with computer programming, you have to be very specific. Computers are not very smart, and if you miss any of these little characters here, the system is going to give you an error message. So if I click next, it's gonna say, oh, you're missing a parentheses here. And so I read the code and figure out what the problem is, and I try again, and we're back in business. We now have a two-line program that fills the screen with red and writes some text. Next. Can you change the code to make the screen another color? If I need a hint, I can click this button here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it from red to name your favorite color, and we probably have it in our system. So now we've got a gold screen with the, world, with the text hello world. Final challenge, can you change the code to make the screen say something else? Oh, that's box. Next. Terrific, you changed the box for the text to say hello, that's box. And at this point we've completed our first app and we can continue to muck with these if we like. And with all the time in bits box, when you're ready to run your code, you click this green run button and it makes your app appear on the tablet on the left. When you're done, click the home button and you can see that we've pr proceeded past the hello world challenge to the next one. Uh, once you've completed these four challenges, or right away if you're ready, uh, to make a new app, you click this new app star here, and you decide what app from the, pro or from the programming book you'd like to do. So we'll do the very first one. This one, and uh, you'll see that every app in the book has a four-digit number next to the app that tells the system which one you'd like to work on. So we're gonna type in 8243, Hit the go button and now we're in open coding mode in bitsbox and our challenge is to copy the code from the book exactly as we see it we're going to fill black click the run button to see what that looks like we're going to stamp the earth we've now created a very simple bitsbox app that does what you see here if we hit back home It'll ask you if you want to create an account. You can do so at any time with an email. In this case, I'm just going to say, no thanks, I don't want an account yet. And you can see the What Will You See app is installed on our iPad. We can click on it at any time to go back and continue our work. Maybe we want to change it from Earth to Mars. Maybe we want to change it from Mars to a UFO. To find out what all the assets are that are available in the system, you can click this button here, which is our library panel, and it brings up a list of all of the fills and stamps and colors and so on. So we could pick something else. Oh, basketball. Let's, uh, let's make a basketball app. So if I return over here, I can change this to stamp basketball. And as you start to learn the commands from the books, you can start changing things. Maybe I want to make the basketball a different size. Maybe I want to change 
from a black screen to a green one, and so on. All right. So the app is installed on our tablet. Let's create a new one from scratch. New app. This time I'm not going to type in a four digit code, I'm just going to click invent your own app. And at this point we create a random icon for you and we create a title of your app and we can create something new. Burger Chef. I'm going to stamp a burger. I'm going to set a tap action on that burger equals explode. And now whenever I click my burger, it explodes. If you want to customize the title of your app, and you just click up here and you can change it there. If you want to change the icon of your app, you click the icon. We bring up a little editing screen where you can write code to make it whatever you like. So maybe I want to fill with blue and stamp, an, stamp a burger on the screen. Save this icon. You can see the icon is updated in my editing window and has updated here. And when I'm ready to share Burger Chef with the world, I click the share button up in the corner here. I can zap the QR code with any mobile device to run it on my phone or iPad. Or I can email it and Facebook it out to whoever I like. That's it. That's how you use Bitsbox. Give it a try at bitsbox.com and let us know what you think. If you have any questions at all, you can always reach us via email at help at bitsbox.com. Thanks.